Hello friends, welcome to Das Capital. In this video, I will discuss 10 important events of the day. At first, I will discuss the relevant points which will be followed by questions from the discussion. The answers will be provided at the end of the discussion. Please go through the discussion and evaluate yourself with the questions provided. Let's start. Digital payment service provider Paytm 197 Communications Limited has partnered with the Life Insurance Corporation of India to offer online insurance premium payments on its platform. A simpler and faster method of premium payments will be offered through the Paytm app with the freedom of paying premium through debit card, credit card, net banking and Paytm wallet besides availing the benefit of several deals and offers. Paytm now has 30 insurance companies on its platform including LIC, ICICI Prudential Life, Reliance Life, Max Life Insurance, HDFC Life, Tata AIA, SBI Life, Aditya Billa Sun Life, Kanara HSBC Life Insurance, Sri Ram Life and Star Health ETC. LIC is the biggest in the world in terms of policy count with about 360 million policies. Remember that Paytm Chief Executive Officer is Vijay Sekar Sharma and its headquarter is in Noida. The Chairman of LIC is VK Sharma. As per Expedia Vacation Deprivation Report 2018, India is among the most vacation deprived nation in the world ranking 5th among the 19 survey countries. It was done by Expedia, a US based travel agency. India is presided by Japan, Italy, Australia and New Zealand and followed by United States and Malaysia. 53% of Indians take fewer vacation days than they get and 35% don't take leave as work schedule does not allow for vacation. 68% of Indians have ended up cancelling their vacation due to work. Andhra Pradesh assembly building will come up at Amravati. The proposed design that has almost been finalized by Chief Minister Chandra Babu Naidu will make the Andhra Pradesh Assembly building taller than the Statue of Unity by 68 meter. The three floor assembly building will have a 250 meter tower making it taller than the 182 meter Statue of Unity in Gujarat. The proposed structure will be shaped like an upside down lily flower said Minister of Municipal Administration P. Narayanan, speaking to media. The tending process for the construction of the proposed assembly will begin by the end of November. Next move to next topic. Tanzanian biologist Joyce Mosua has been appointed as Acting Executive Director of United Nations Environment Program or UNEP after the resignation of Eric Solhim. Mosua had previously worked with World Bank and she is consistently advocating for conservation of the planet. The United Nations Environment Programme or UNEP, an agency of the United Nations, coordinates the organization's environmental activities and assist developing countries in implementing environmentally sound policies and practices. It was found by Maurice Strong, its first director, as a result of United Nations Conference on the Human Environment or Stockholm Conference in June 1972 and has overall responsibility for environmental problems among United Nations agencies. The headquarter of UNEP is in Nairobi, Kenya. Next, the Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs or CCEA has approved continuation of atmosphere and climate research 
Modeling Observing System and Services or ACROSS during 2017-2020 at an estimated cost of Rs 1450 crore. It consists of 9 sub program which are multi institutional in nature and will be implemented by the Ministry of Earth Sciences through its institutes namely India Meteorological Department, Indian Institute of Tropical Metrology, National Center for Medium Range Weather Forecasting and Indian National Center for Ocean Information Services. The objective of the ACROSS is to provide a reliable weather and climate forecast for the betterment of society. Next point, the 19th edition of the prestigious Laura World Sports Award will be held in Monaco on 18 February 2019. It is considered as the Oscar of Sports. Former India cricket captain Kopil Dev, Rahul Dravir and Sochin Tendulkar are members of the Laura Academy. In 2017, tennis star Roger Federer won the Laura Sportsman of the Year Award for the record fifth time, while Serena Williams won the Sportswoman of the Year recognition for the fourth time. Next, the Securities and Exchange Board of India or SEBI has come out with new rules for reclassification of a promoter as a public investor. An outgoing promoter will have to relinquish special rights as well as control over the affairs of the listed firm and they will not be allowed to hold over 10% stake. The promoter would not be allowed to have any representation on the board of directors or act as a key managerial person in the listed entity. The promoter seeking reclassification must not be a willful defaulter. The norms aimed at simplifying and bringing greater clarity in existing regulations. In all cases of reclassification of promoters, the proposal need to be placed by the listed entity before shareholders and approved through ordinary resolution. Point number 8. UNICEF appoints Nahid Afrin, a singer of Assam, as the first youth advocate of the northeastern region to fight for child right. Nahid Afrin made her playback debut in the 2016 Bollywood film Akira and won several awards. Youth advocates support initiatives of positive change that include access to quality education, basic health care, ending violence against children and adding the issues of equity and inclusion. Point number 9. Uber Eats, the US-based food delivery platform, has appointed actress Alia Bhatt as its band ambassador in India. For Uber Eats, India will be the first country globally to have a band ambassador. Uber Eats is currently present across 37 cities in India. Uber Eats is the food delivery arm of Uber and was launched in India in May 2017. Last point, Nepal's largest exhibition on construction equipment and technology, CONMAC 2018, began in Kathmandu. It is organized by the Confederation of Indian Industry in association with Embassy of India in Nepal. It showcased mainly heavy equipment such as dozer, crusher and concrete mixture. Now try to answer the 12 questions provided in this segment and note down the answers to check in the latter segment. First question, who has been appointed as the first youth advocate of the northeastern region by the UNICEF? Second question, where will the 19th edition of the prestigious Laura World Sports Awards be held? 
third question CCEA has approved across during 2017-2020 it consists how many sub programs question number 4 who has been appointed as acting head of the UNEP question number 5 as per SEBI's new rules for classification, the promoter will not be allowed to hold over dash percentage stake. Question number 6. Who has been appointed as the brand ambassador of Uber Eats in India? Question number 7. Where will Nepal's largest exhibition, CONMAC 2018, be held? Question number 8. Who won the Laura Sportsman of the Year Award 2017? Question number 9. Where is the headquarter of UNEP located? Question number 10. Which state government has decided to construct its assembly building taller than the Statue of Unity by 68 meters? Question number 11. With which insurance company Paytm has partnered recently to offer online insurance premium payments on its platform? And question number 12. As per Expedia Vacation Deprivation Report 2018, what is the rank of India among the most vacation deprived nations in the world? Hope you have answered all the questions correctly. However, check the answers in this segment and see where you are standing in these particular topics. Answer number 1. Nahid Afrin. Answer number 2, Monaco. Answer number 3, 9. Answer number 4, Joyce Mosua. Answer number 5, 10%. Answer 6, Alia Bhatt. Answer 7, Kathmandu. Answer 8, Roder Federer. Answer 9, Nairobi, Kenya. Answer 10, Andhra Pradesh, answer 11, LIC, answer 12, fifth. And I hope you have enjoyed the session. Please comment for further modification if needed to improve and make interesting the session. If you find it helpful, please subscribe my channel and share the video to your friends so that they can also get the benefit from it. PDF link of the discussion has been provided in the description box and till then, tata, thank you.